Hi, Jack. I am back in the great state of Ohio. Uh, Hurricane Harvey's technically hitting us right now, but Hurricane Harvey is kind of just a little drizzly rainstorm by now, but it's like 55 degrees right now. It's August 30th or 31st right now, and it's very cold. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I guess it's September 1st. I'm losing track of the days, but it's a very cold day. It's a cloudy day. It's a big time cold front. Not the best top water conditions, but me and Jack have been sitting on this video idea for how long? Piss poor throw. Thank you. Peanut butter pretzels are the move. But we've been sitting on this idea for a while now because Jack makes his own lures. Jack, what lures do you technically make? Mostly just crankbaits, top waters? And square bills and top waters. I saw this on Instagram months ago and I was like, Jack, can you make this lure? And he's like, yeah, that's extremely simple to make. So here's our homemade popper. We got three different variations. I'm out here with Jack and then also my girlfriend. And we're gonna try to catch some pond bass on the homemade popper. This is, these are all made out of wine corks, bottle caps, and then like, how, how do you make this? Would you like to explain to the camera how you make this? Just a real quick rundown. Give me the rundown, cause I don't know how to make this. I glued that to that. <laughs> and then drilled a hole, screwed in the screw eye, screwed in the screw eye, screwed in the screw eye, put some eyes on there, and then just epoxied the edges so it stays in there nice, and put the hooks on. Those eyes are really key. <laughs> that's something to key in on. Yeah, that's really gonna, <laughs> gonna catch a lot of fish. Are you guys filming? Yeah. Do you want to be in on this? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That, that's the kind of day today is I'm fishing with old friends, right? You can like technically we don't live next to each other anymore So we're old friends. We won't see each other maybe months on end Jack is gonna start crying <laughs> <laughs> But we're gonna be dodging hurricane Harvey hopefully catching a lot of bass on these poppers I'm Catching up with my buddy Jack and my girlfriend who which I both have not seen for about a month. Hey Jack, is this the new hummingbird bottle? Is that new Solix? <laughs> <laughs> is there a hole in this boat? A little one. It's below the water line. Once we go in, oh, we oh, that's fine. There's only a it's little above hole. Above the water line, I meant this. <laughs> Not below it. That would suck. We're launching a John boat on one of. This is one of your favorite. This is just a tiny pond near your house, right? Yeah. It goes back and. Kind of back that way too, so it's not super small. Now it's really windy everywhere else. Like it's 15 to 20 mile per hour northeast winds with this Hurricane Harvey. But we're in a big valley right here. There is no wind. It's really cloudy. I'm hoping, even though it's a cold front, that <laughs> top water conditions are going to be perfect. I want to see you I catch a five pounder. Oh, you don't? No. Wait till you catch one. Jack, this is 100% going to catch one. Guys, I am so excited. This is going to catch one. Hey, Chris, can you push this off? Look at this thing. Well, the rain has significantly picked up. We've been fishing for about 10 minutes. Pros of this bait. With the cork, it's very buoyant. Con, it doesn't really go straight. You pop it and then it kind of turns around, turns sideways. It never really stays a uniform direction so as long as one hits it we should hook up i don't see why one wouldn't oh missed one dude oh yeah wasn't all that big oh yeah no ah I hooked him too. I don't think he's gonna eat again. Yeah, that was at least a two pounder. Just an Ohio giant. Jack, what kind of hooks are these? They're sharp hooks, they're just a little small. I don't know. That's the hook situation we're working with. It honestly should, like, it looks fine. Like I said, they're just a little small. Right, how long did you say it took you to make one of these? Like without accounting for the epoxy drying. Start to finish all three, 30 minutes. That last fish ate it too. I blame the hooks. There will be more. We've gotten two already. Haley, where's your five pounder? 
<laughs> Coming up on the left. Coming up on the left. Ooh, this lay down right here. Right here. Cast in there. Where? Just not in the tree. Don't pull a parrot. Just get like right in front of this lay down. Close. Ooh. Ooh, dude, chasing Shad. Dude, they're, oh, I'm on a stick. They're chasing the shad up on the banks. It's just hard to get a cast in there. Hurricane Harvey's got him chasing shad. I know Lake Fork on. I know a couple other people went out and fished like before the hurricane. Smoked them. Oh, Ooh, got him. Yeah, he's around the pole. No, dude, it's the hooks. It's the hooks. It's got to be. 0 for 3. He had it. That's heartbreaking. Because I've had three fish. The first one kind of swiped it. The last two, especially that one. They had it, and I had them hooked for like a second or two, but the hooks never really got in them. I'm sending them back to the manufacturer. Poor hooks. <laughs> We're trying to figure out why we're missing so many fish in these poppers. This is a normal popper, and this is our fabulous homemade popper. And I think what's happening is just the body is too big. But if we go to bigger hooks, the hooks are gonna hook each other. I think that's the sacrifice I'm willing to make. Cause this popper, normal poppers are nice and slender. This one, the body is so big that I think it's stopping the hooks from doing their job. Cause when you fish does that, those bottom hooks aren't really doing anything. Here's the new rendition. Hooks are undoubtedly gonna hook each other, but honestly, even if these hooks do hook each other and get stuck, I'll still have a much better chance of catching a fish now with these bigger ones. Cause now if one eats it, he's definitely getting the points of something. I have so much more confidence now. Hala, you love fishing in the cold and rain, don't you? I love it. Oh, it can't be that bad. You take off the map, though. Oh yeah, he looks like an avocado. Oh! Got him. Oh, that was a big one! Oh, no, dude. Dude, that was like a three or four pounder. Oh, <laughs> oh that's killer. Chris. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Do you got the dusty hooks on that one? Like smaller hooks? Yep. You saw that whole fish's body, right? That's why you're doing that? Yep. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh. dude, I think I think the bottle cap is. It's like he had it in his mouth, and the second he opened it to try to spit it, it just came right out. Like he, the hooks. Yeah, are, none. Of, uh, every single one of these fish we've had on for like the exact same time, like one to two seconds. Let me see that bait. Yeah, dude, you got tiny hooks on this one. That was my problem with the last one. You need to put bigger hooks on there. That one was chasing shad too. That's right where they. Were. Yeah, that's where he just busted. Damn, that was a long one. The only one that's best designed for hookup ratio, Haley's. <laughs> Come on, Haley. Haley, it's all up to you because we obviously can't hook fish. Damn it, dude, that pisses me off. That was a big one. <laughs> oh, don't look at her reel right now. <laughs> Get a video right now. <laughs> what is that happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh my god, you guys are a mess right now. <laughs> How bad is it? <laughs> How bad is it? That's I'm not that bad. We're trying out here, guys. We're we're trying. I should have picked a much better day than Hurricane Harvey in 55 degrees to try to catch fish on a topwater lure. But this is the only day we had. It's raining pretty hard right now. I'm going to put the GoPro away. Hopefully this rain will pass and we'll finally be able to catch one at this pond. Now I am sitting here editing this video. It is now two days after that part was filmed. I'm sorry, Jack, to all you watching, we suck. We were really confident that we could catch fish on those baits, especially dropping a John boat in a pond. We had one day to do it because I'm not going to be down at my old college for long. We couldn't get it done. We failed the challenge. We had the bites to get it done, but because of the way that the lure was designed, we just didn't put big enough hooks on there. He actually asked me before we left if the hooks were fine. And I was like, yeah, they're, they're good to go. But I'm almost positive the reason we didn't catch all four of those bites is because 
the hooks were just too small. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It wasn't a very serious video, if you guys couldn't tell. It was me, my girlfriend, and my buddy Jack out on a small John boat fishing with a wine cork bottle cap lure in the rainstorm of Hurricane Harvey. No giant muskies were caught in this video, but I still had a blast filming it. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching it.